We actually started about five years ago. Um, it, the concept came up actually in a business class that my sister, Biliki Sadebi, was taking um, when she was in MIT. She came up with the concept of um, kind of a bottom-up approach, a pyramid scheme for helping um, low-income communities get value for their waste. Um, essentially, what she did was come to Lagos, study the waste environment, talk to a lot of people in waste, like Loma, and you know, try to find out what we were doing in terms of recycling. When she found out there was a big gap in recycling, uh, she took it upon herself and a member of her, members of her class to pretty much test the market to see how they could incentivize people to recycle and give them a, a points for their recyclable waste and collect it from them and sell it back to large recycling companies. Yeah, so Recyclers essentially is um, incentivized-based recycling. We go to households and communities and tell them about the value of their recyclable waste and we also give them incentives. So we give them what we call points. Those points are tracked over time and they accumulate and it allows the individual to see that you know, the plastic bottles, aluminum cans, cardboard are not just waste. We collect that material, bring them to our uh, different hubs around Lagos. We currently have four hubs in Lagos. And what we do is we essentially sort um, the material. And then once we're done with this process, we start to compress the different materials so that it can actually be easier for us to ship and sell. We cyclists faces a variety of challenges um, that, that range from operational challenges such as equipment um, damages um, or uh, maintenance um, to also logistics. So we have a lot of vehicles that travel around Lagos to collect recyclable waste from different parts. Um, so we, we definitely face the challenge of maintenance of our vehicles. The cost of operating vehicles um, over a large area is very, very expensive. So we, we definitely face those challenges on a daily basis. We're a small company. So our revenues are not very large, so we have to really balance our costs to make sure that we're able to maintain our vehicles appropriately and also be able to serve our customers. Yeah, so WeCyclers has a lot of support from particularly Lagos State. Lagos State has, has been a partner with WeCyclers from day one. When we started out, we actually partnered with Loma to, to get some space in Lagos. They gave us a space that we could use to um, collect and sort the material. All right, so WeCyclers really tries to make sure that our customers understand the value of the waste that they, they generate on a daily basis. And not only do we try to reach out to individuals in households, we, we are we're always looking at children because we believe that children are the future. And one of the things that we see a lot of is kids actually coming into our recycling hub to bring plastics. And that's so encouraging for us because we definitely see the impact and the value of children understanding that waste is not waste. You know, you have to use it to, to you have to use it to actually gain value from it. Um, so I'm always encouraged to see children coming in to recycle because we know that's the future. And once children begin to assign value to these products, it becomes a learned habit. And children then continue to do this as they grow. And so we, we believe that we're gonna actually have a much better environment because children are a part of the solution. We do always accept tours um, with different schools around Lagos State to come to our recycling hubs we teach them about the value of what they are doing and they get to see where these materials go and what they are used for. So it's something that we feel has to be continually be pushed. So WeCyclers always looks for opportunities um, to collect more waste and essentially valuables from, from the household. So if you're looking to recycle your plastic bottles, aluminum cans, sachets, or cardboard or paper, and you don't know what to do with it, just feel free to go to our website, WeCyclers.com. Um, feel free to go and get our details, call us, let us know where you live. We'll work with you to try to get that material to where it needs to go and, and to be properly utilized and recycled. To enjoy more of these our Ogonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.